Hello, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. We are continuing with our TOEIC unit, and again, we're talking mainly about cars or the automotive industry. Last time, Claire was introducing us to their VR system, where you could check out cars inside and out. Well, today we're going to be talking about some things that the Ford Motor Company is doing to reduce production line injuries. Unfortunately, workplace accidents are a reality. It's hard to avoid. People are going to get hurt if they work in、uh, jobs that require a lot of physical labor or working with heavy machinery. And Ford realizes this, and they care about their employees, so they're trying to reduce production line injuries. Cool.、Uh, we're going to spend some time、uh, looking at some of the things they're doing. But first, as we always do.、Uh, Tom is actually going to read this one. Then we'll be back to focus in on some of these terms. American automobile manufacturer Ford recently announced that it has reduced the number of injuries that occur on its production line by seventy percent since two thousand three. The production line consists of workers who put cars together one component at a time. The assembly process is quite physically demanding, which is why Ford refers to these workers as industrial athletes. In order to cut down on injuries, Ford looked at several factors. One of these was ergonomics. Ergonomics research involves looking at the physical impact of each part of the process. The researchers take into account how long the task will take, which muscles will be used, and the potential for injury or accident. With this data, Ford can make sure the tasks can be divided in such a way that no one suffers from fatigue or muscle strain. Ford also made use of technologies to help with this problem. One example of this is lift-assisting devices, which help workers by giving them mechanical aid. When they lift heavy objects, Ford also uses virtual reality to create virtual production lines. In this way, the company can make sure the real production line is designed in a way that should reduce injury. Our goal is to provide a healthy, safe, and productive work environment at our Ford manufacturing facilities worldwide," said Michael Torolsky, one of Ford's executive directors. Okay, guys, we're going to talk about how the Ford car company is actually using technology to reduce production line injuries.、Uh, I did want to mention, and I forgot to, on day one, the title is "How VR is Changing the Auto Industry." You can just say the car industry as well, guys. It's fine. It's just fine. Or automobile, which I don't know the last time I actually used automobile. In a discussion, so auto industry, car industry, yeah. So if you're on a production line somewhere, it means you work in a factory where a product is produced, and you have one little part of it. And then the next person, you know, comes in and does a little bit more.、Uh, it's been quite a while since、uh, they added robots. Or machines that could do some of this、uh, production line assembly work, but they still need human beings in the factory taking、uh, charge of the the machines and the the robots if there are robots. But here we're learning that Ford is using technology for a good thing. They're trying to cut down on injuries or reduce injuries happening、uh, in their factories. Right. So, if you work for Ford, of course, you might have、uh, many different kinds of jobs. You might be a designer,、uh, where you work in an office or something, a or marketing mar executive,、uh, yeah. customer service, or whatever.、Sure. But then, of course, if you're on the production line, then that's more physically demanding,、yeah. and there's more a possibility for injury. So, they're using technology to reduce injuries on the production line. I've never really worked on a production line myself. I worked in a junk mail factory. 
factory once that was like a production line. They had all these machines putting different inserts and envelopes. It's kind of a similar、Sorting. process.、Yeah. And I could see, yes, if you're not careful, you could actually get your hands sucked into the machine or something like that, or you might fall down and bash your head on something. So it is a reality there if you're working on a production line. And Ford is aware of this, so they're trying to reduce the number of injuries that occur on the production line. So American automobile manufacturer Ford recently announced that it has reduced the number of injuries that occur on its production line. By seventy percent、wow. since two thousand three. That's quite a figure there. That's great.、Uh, it's of course uh, uh, a lot to ask、uh, to eliminate all injuries from the production line, unless it's totally、uh, using robots there. But、uh, you know, people still need their jobs and stuff like that. But still, seventy percent is quite a reduction. It really is. The production line consists of workers who put cars together one component at a time. We'll often use this word "component" when we're talking about something that is、uh, assembled or put together out of many different pieces. I used to use the word "component" quite frequently when I owned a stereo system in the states. For example, my speakers were a component. I had a tape drive that was a component. I had a, a record player that was another component. And they all came from different brands. I didn't just buy one brand. I was buying the best of each brand and then putting it together for my home. I don't have that stereo here anymore. I miss that. Well, that's what happens on a production line or an assembly line. You can use either of these terms interchangeably, actually. Right, so there are different components in a car. There's the chassis, there's the frame,、uh, there's the dashboard, there are the seats, etc. Those are all different components, and of course, workers will put the cars together one component at a time, one by one. And the assembly process is quite physically demanding, which is why Ford refers to these workers as. Industrial athletes. So assembly is the process of putting things together. To assemble means to take different parts and put them together. If you buy a piece of furniture from IKEA, for example, you're going to probably have to assemble it at home. It comes with a set of instructions, and you follow the instructions, and you should be able to assemble or put together your no your new cabinet or your new sofa or whatever. Or your new Desk.、Right. I often put things together, and then when I think I'm done with my piece of IKEA furniture, I realize that I have some extra pieces left. Ooh, where were they supposed to go?、Mm. Yeah, now I just、uh, I hire someone to put things together for me because I just can't do it. I guess they do offer that service. They do, and I love that. But、uh, to assemble is the verb, and assembly is the noun here referring to the process. And it can be quite physically demanding. You、oh, got to、yeah. be strong. You can't be a weakling. No. You can't be a ninety-eight pound weakling there working for Ford. You got to have some muscles there. Both men and women can do it if they've got.、Uh, The right、uh, muscles there, and so it's physically demanding. Demanding means it demands this from you. You have to do it, otherwise you're going to get too tired. You're going to get injured, and they just won't hire you. So yes, indeed, when you interview for the job, they'll ask you, "Hey, can you pick up you know 200 pounds of stuff?、Uh, can you work long hours standing up and never sitting down?、Uh, because it is so physically demanding. Yeah, it's tough.、Uh, so that's why Ford actually calls these workers. Workers, industrial athletes. Yeah, you got to be in pretty pretty good shape to be an athlete in general. Industrial means having to do with factories, you know. So yeah, it's not an easy job. In order to cut down or reduce injuries, notice if you use cut down, you have to say cut down on something. Reduce, you don't need to reduce something.、Um, it's good to learn both because you don't always want to use the same. Verb or the same verb phrase. You need some、um, variety in your writing. We like that. So Ford looked at several factors. A factor is just some part of something.、Uh, maybe they thought, hmm, what do we need to consider in order to really reduce injuries? So they looked at several things that might be the problem. So、uh, you could say. 
I quit my job. I'm looking for a new job, and some of the things I'm looking for、um, are better work hours, a longer vacation. These are some of the factors that are really important to me that I want to consider.、Uh, one of the factors that Ford looked at was ergonomics. Hmm. That's a, a word. I don't even think that word was around when I was a little girl. It's、mm. kind of a more of a modern term. I see it nowadays when they are talking about furniture that is more comfortable for someone to use. Maybe the chair is more ergonomic; it helps your back a little bit more. Or maybe a desk is the kind that can raise up, that can help you from、uh, sitting all day long, which is bad for your body. Ergonomics. So, ergonomics is just the study of people's efficiency in their working environment. And for some reason, I always consider not just their efficiency, but I consider their comfort. Uh, right, and also ergonomics is used when they design products for people for their ease of use.、Right. If you buy a bicycle, you know how well does it fit your body? How efficient is it?、Uh, you know, you can use、uh, less amount of energy、mm. but go faster. That all has to do with ergonomics, just being more efficient. So again, ergonomics research involves looking at the physical impact of each part of the process. So yes, indeed, they want to be efficient when they manufacture. These cars, of course, Ford has to compete with、uh, all those Japanese、oh, yeah. cars. That,、uh, geez, the Japanese can produce cars of high quality. They're good at cars.、Uh, yeah. Absolutely, they're really hard to beat. So, indeed,、uh, they have to assess the physical impact of each part of the process. Indeed, if、uh, putting the car together、uh, creates injury, then they have to figure out ways to do it without bringing about injury. When you're talking about something's impact or someone's impact on somebody else or something, it just means how one action of one object,、uh, you know, influences something else. So maybe for me.、Uh, The teacher that had the biggest impact on my life was my choir director when I was in college. It wasn't just about music; he gave me good advice about being successful. So,、uh, impact the physical impact is. You're talking about how these actions are actually leading to injuries. If you make the same motion with your body over and over and over again, like a tennis player, they get a lot of elbow injuries. Tennis elbow. You've probably heard that before, because of the way they swing the racket. I had a coworker that、uh, typed so much that she had carpal tunnel syndrome, which affected her wrist, and she had to go and have surgery on her wrist. Oh no. I always thought that was interesting. I type a lot, and it never, it never affected me. So the researchers take into account how long the tasks will take, which muscles are being used, and the potential for injury or accident. Yeah, that's why some of these computerized、uh, pieces of machinery, the robots, it's better for them to do those actions that are the same again and again and again because. You just give them some more oil, and they're okay.、Mm. They don't break down so much.、Uh, yeah. So these are all the different factors、uh, the researchers consider or take these things into account. How long these tasks will take? You know, how long is it going to take to attach the wheels to the car? You know, how long does that take? Which muscles are you going to use? Are you going to use your wrist or your arm or、mm -hmm. your elbows? And then they also assess the potential for injury or accident. Will you get hurt when you? Put that tire on the car. Is there potential for accident? Well, yes, you're kind of bending over, so there could be some back injury、oh, yeah. involved.、Mm. And with this data, with all this information, Ford can make sure the tasks can be divided in such a way that no one suffers from fatigue or muscle strain. So they've got all this information, and then they can figure out how to distribute the tasks to different workers, so that maybe worker A doesn't have to bend over so much. And worker B doesn't have to use his wrist so much. They can kind of share the duties a little bit, and therefore they can reduce those injuries. And then Ford doesn't have to pay out in health insurance so much. So yeah, they're just looking at all the facts and statistics that they gather together to analyze something. Now, if you're suffering from fatigue, fatigue means tiredness. You're tired. You could say I'm fatigued. 
or I'm very tired. I'm exhausted.、Uh, strain here is when you're using, in this case at least, a muscle, and maybe you pull too hard or you bend over too often, and it becomes very sore. Maybe you need、uh, a heating pad on that part of your body or some ice that'll help that sore muscle, depending on how you strained your muscles. Sometimes if I go running, my knee、uh, gets really hot. I've strained my knee, so Ford is looking at all of these things. That have also,、uh, they're also making use of technologies to help with this problem. They should be now that we have these amazing、uh, computers and what they can do. And、uh, you know, we've talked about the VR technology. They're using all of these things to help with this problem. Yep, technologies and different tools and things like that. And one example of this is lift assisting devices, which help workers by giving them mechanical aid when they lift heavy objects. I've heard about this. They are little machines that actually respond to you, but they actually assist you when cool, you lift、huh? something. So、yeah. if you want to pick up a you know a fifty pound weight or something like that,、uh-huh. and you use this apparatus,、uh, you won't actually. Exert that much energy, you'll direct the machine, but the machine will do most of the work. So that's a lift assisting device, something that helps you lift something, and of course it gives you mechanical aid. Mechanical means basically having to do with machines. That's right, mechanical、uh, aid. Of course, is just help. I'd like one of these things for my apartment at home if I have to lift something heavy. I always have to ask for help. So Ford also uses virtual reality to create virtual production lines. Why do they do that? Well, in this way, the company can make sure the real production line is designed in a way that should reduce injury. So they really are using VR in lots of different ways, as we told you in day one of our TOEIC unit. This is a really great way to use it, actually. And then we've got a quote from one of Ford's executive directors. If you're an executive at a company, it means you have a high-level job where you are supervising people below you. So he's an executive. He doesn't. Probably doesn't work in the factory. He probably works at headquarters,、um, and he is being interviewed. And so we have a quote from him. He says, "Our goal is to provide a healthy, safe, and productive work environment at our Ford manufacturing facilities worldwide." So they're trying to help people who work on the production line all around the world. At least they're Ford employees. That's what they're trying to do. Yep, they've got these factories all over the world, so they're worldwide. And he wants to, or at least Ford wants to, implement these measures so that their workers don't get injured on the job. And of course, Ford wants to save money,、yeah. but also we should give them credit. They're also concerned about the health and welfare of their employees, and、uh, we wish them the best here. And hopefully, other companies can reduce their amount of injuries. As well. Okay, that brings us to the end of our explanation for today. We're going to hear from the Chinese teacher first, and then we'll come back and have a discussion. Hello, everyone. My name is Tina. 首先来看到今天文章的第一句，写着 American automobile manufacturer Ford recently announced that it has reduced the number of injuries that occur on its production line by seventy percent since two thousand and three. 这句很长，它的主词呢就是美国的汽车制造商 Ford。它最近做了一件事情，它宣布。我们首先来看一下宣布的内容，提到自西元两千零三年以来，在生产线上发生伤害的次数已经减少了百分之七十。在这里要请同学特别注意一下 ，by 这个介系词。By seventy percent, 在这里的 by 加上一个数字来代表这中间的差距。不过，我们另外要介绍的是这里的动词 announce， 有宣布、发布的意思。后面直接用 that 来加名词子句，说明宣布的内容为何。举例来说，投票完毕了，主席宣布了结果，你就可以说 the vote was completed。The chairman announced the result. 
。接着继续往下看，汽车的工业呢，需要许多的工人在装配的过程当中努力。那么在这一段的最后一句提到 ，the assembly process is quite physically demanding。Which is why Ford refers to these workers as industrial athletes. 首先提到的 assembly 在这里当做名词，本来是有集会、集合的意思。我们常常说人民是有集会权，我们就可以说 the right of assembly. 不过在这里指的是机械的装配，所以讲到呢 ，the assembly of the airplane parts， 也就是指的飞机零件的装配。而在整个 assembly process 装配的过程当中，是非常的 physically demanding， 也就是耗费体力的。所以福特就把这些工人称之为 industrial athletes， 是工业运动员。第二段的第一句。In order to cut down on injuries, Ford looked at several factors. 为了要减少伤害，福特公司也检视了以下的几个因素。Factor 当作名词，有因素跟要素的意思。我们说 to analyze various factors 指的是去分析各种不同的因素。常常我们会说有一些未知因素的存在，也可以说是 an unknown factor。接着，在第二段的最后一句提到 ，with this data， Ford can make sure the tasks can be divided in such a way that no one suffers from fatigue or muscle strain。有了这些数据呢，福特他们就可以去确认所有的任务呢不会造成任何人过度的疲劳或者是肌肉的拉伤，以这样的方式来分配不同的任务。首先来看到 suffer from， 就是有遭受什么之苦的意思，而 fatigue 则是指疲劳、劳累。举例来说，他的健康状况因为疲劳而恶化，你就可以说 his health is deteriorating from fatigue。而这里的 muscle strain 则是指肌肉拉伤的意思。再继续往下看，下一段的第二个句子提到 ，one example of this。Is lift assisting devices, which help workers by giving them mechanical aid when they lift heavy objects. 其中呢，用科技来解决太过重的工作跟任务。一个例子就是 lift assisting devices， 这就是所谓的举物的辅助装置。Lift 就是有举起的意思，而它的功能作用，我们在后面补充说明。所以打逗号 ，which 它是可以帮助工人呢，给他们一些机械式的辅助，当他们要举起重物的时候。When they lift heavy objects， 我们来看一下这个形容词 mechanical， 指的就是机器驱动的。所以，像是机械装置，就称之为 mechanical device， 而机械的动力就可以说是 mechanical power。目的为何呢？这个 CEO 执行董事之一他说了 ：“Our goal is to provide a healthy, safe, and productive work environment at our Ford manufacturing facilities worldwide.” Said Michael Torosky, one of Ford's executive directors. 所以他说呢，目标就是要提供在全世界的福特制造工厂有一个健康的、安全的、跟高效能的工作环境。在这里呢，我们有看到这个字 facilities， 常常以复数来表达，代表的是设备跟设施。举例来说 ，She had no cooking facilities in the room， 指的是她房间里面并没有烧饭、烹饪的设备。而这里呢，提供安全的环境，当然也就可以提高工作效率喽。OK， 以上就是今天的课文讲解，谢谢收听。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 
Okay, everybody. As promised, we're now going to have a discussion, and in order to have a discussion, we need to have some discussion questions to get that discussion rolling. So here are some questions. Here, have you ever suffered an injury? How could it have been prevented? Any injury or an injury in a factory or on a production well, line? Well, let's、uh, say on the job because that's what we were talking about on earlier. On the job, no. I've always had,、um, you know, office jobs that don't require a lot of physical strength. Although in my last job, our office actually did a remodeling project, and so I came in and helped on that project. Not, you know, not actually, you know, building things, but vacuuming and making sure everything was cleaned up after the workers were done. I got a little bit of a, a bad back for a little while, like a week. It wasn't bad. I was young, so yeah. How could it have been prevented? By not doing that particular work, but I wanted to be a team player, and a lot of us actually went in on the weekend to help、uh, prepare the office for a Monday opening. So, cool. Yeah, have you? Have you? You've probably you're a guy. You've probably done stuff that's real physical. I suppose.、Uh, I, I guess、uh, when I was in high school, we used to make、uh, extra money by doing agricultural work. Yeah, going out into the fields and detasseling corn. What I did was walking beans.、You You go out into soybean fields,、yeah. and you basically just、uh, remove all the weeds. And、uh, yes, you have to bend over a lot. I suppose I got a sore back from doing that, but I wouldn't say I was injured. But there's also the potential for serious sunburn out there because、Ooh. you are out there in the middle of the day, and the sun is shining right above you. So you might want to、uh, wear long sleeve garments or put on sunscreen. I don't remember receiving much of an injury doing that, but I know I was a、uh, darn tired afterwards. Yeah, my my most physically demanding job. You kind of reminded me just now. When I was in junior high, I had my own paper route or paper route. So I'd ride my bike and deliver papers. I had to get up at four thirty in the morning. I was done by six thirty. But I, I saved that extra money to buy a car. My parents helped me too. I didn't buy the whole car. But、um, yeah. You know, one time I fell off my bike. You know, it's not fun. It happens. <laughs>、yep. And、uh, here's、uh, here are some other questions related to this.、Uh-huh. What are some physically demanding jobs? What makes them so difficult to do? Well, you know, doing the、uh, doing that kind of action again and again, you you just overuse a particular group of muscles. I also had a had a job as a yard worker, so I would again get up at four in the summer. This was a summer job, and we'd be done by six thirty because the sun is so hot in Arizona. You can't go past that. So. That one I earned a lot of money, but it—I、uh, don't know if it was worth it. It was tough, tough work. Well, you might not think so, but I think some of our beloved drivers out there、uh, have physically demanding jobs. I know a Mr. Jong who drives a bus, and boy, he has to sit in that bus、oh, for many hours a day. That's not good for your body's circulation. So we could say that's very physically demanding. True. So think about that. The next time you take the bus, the driver there has been sitting there for hours, and they sit there for. Many hours a day. I always say thank you on my way out. Indeed, it's a tough job. Taxi drivers as well.、Uh-huh. Okay, that brings us to the end of our discussion for today. Thank you so much for joining us, and join us again next time for another edition of our program. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie.、Goodbye. Bye.